Hi guys, welcome. So, I'd like to make a video about this thing here. The Nintendo Wii. Yes. Y yeah, you might have thought it was a brick, it was useless, it, it, it was basically just a Wii Sports machine. And when that, you're probably not wrong. However, this thing is more deep than you think. Now, obviously, this thing is very unpowerful and... And, like, a student could probably make something. Like, this was about comparable to a PSP. Back in 2006, this was a P this was basically a PSP in a box. And it was made by Nintendo. Wait, so, the Wii, it has some very weird um, architecture. But I don't want to get into that. I want to get to the secrets. I'm not going to show them, obviously. But, if you do want to see them... You should check out Beta64 video on the Wii, on the Wii menu, because he goes fully in depth about um, system functions, and yeah, I'd like to just go over some. So, you might know that the Wii can't play DVDs, unless if you use Homebrew, but you know, there used to be a feature where you wouldn't, you wouldn't actually have to do this. It's not in the final game, however, it's not in the final console, however, if you do go, if you get, if you try to edit the code of the Wii, and if you go to the binary revolution layout power, fi file, um, revolution, the original name for the Wii, you see, and you edit one of the numbers to zero to one, something will happen. So... If you if you if you know the disc channel on the Wii, it just has the Wii disc, the GameCube disc. Unless if you had like one of those like B Tech Wii's with no, with no GameCube games on it. <laughs> I doubt that's many people, if I'm being honest. And yeah, you see, do you think so? While we're the minus button is so you can switch channels there's no used image and that is of a dvd disc um yeah it's very strange and it's perhaps something that you can unlock the thing you know. another thing is is was um time um you see t like times on channels now, on the Wii U and 3DS, if you have a demo, you can only use it to, like, the certain amount of times. However, you used to be able to... This used to happen on the Wii, only with time. But, but there was no... There was no official content. The reason I say official, the only one that ever had it was the Homebrew channel. Not the, not the current build, the original build from about 2008. So... It either came out on the first or the second. No one's really too sure because time zones and everything. It was released, and well, they are. It did have a ten-minute time limit. Now this this was a bit more of an April Fool's prank. It was ruined by hackers like that. But it's interesting that this actually happened, and. Other things really. So, so, so if you there's also some unused um, images, but however you can actually find this yourself. If you go onto Nintendo UK's website, I'll link all the, the stuff I go I go on about. You will see a picture of Animal Crossing, like. And it would have sent like messages to the Wii message board or Wii mail or whatever you called it. Um. Yeah, and there's also an unused image of Tom Nook from Animal Crossing. It was probably like the placeholder for the me. That's there isn't really like a defined reason for it. Yeah. There are some other ones like how the um 
how the Wii could have you could have originally downloaded the Wii games to your system and loaded it from your SD card. Or the fact there was two SD card slots. Let me explain. So in in um, programming, coding starts from the letter the, the number zero. And there is a line of text that reads SDIO slot one cannot in it. That means SD, the SD card, IO, which is like something that can input output data. SD slot one is interesting, it's not this slot, which is here by the way. There. Yeah. One usually it's the second version and it can't initialize because it doesn't exist. There was also there was a planned um feature from Satoru Water, rest in peace, about having the, the having the Wii just shut off, save everything at a certain time of the a certain time set by parental controls because he really wanted parents to like this thing. I think they already did anyway, but whatever. And you see, why? And I'll tell you now. According to some Nintendo employees, they had some heated debates over this thing. This thing was mental. Like, like how they would say to Iwata, it's not possible, it's, it's just not going to happen. Or at least. It probably would have to be in an update. They would never get it done. No done. Finish. Nothing. So, um, so that's where play history comes from. They, they, that was just their idea. The development team's idea to save resources. Perfect. So, some other news. Now, you might know the news channel and the forecast channel. And the Wii Shop channel, rest in peace. Yeah. Well, most of these things are rest in peace. But a lot of them have been brought back. Thanks to the hacking community. Now, I'll tell you now. I'm, I'm not normally a one for hackers. But the Wii hacking community is one of the most committed in the, in the entire gaming industry. Don't take that from me. Take that from an actual hacker. I'm not a hacker, by the way, but... It's so so good. Like, like they got the online working again. They got We Connect Twenty Four working again. Mm. They did also let you download other games, but that's illegal, and I wouldn't really want to get into that. I okay. I don't think it's not. I would say it's not really illegal, as it was if it was free anyway. So like, the forecast, news channel, Nintendo channel, stuff like that. I don't really, even though it is still kind of illegal, it's not really in my eyes because uh, Nintendo didn't charge anything anyway. But if you paid for it, uh, yeah, it's illegal. It's illegal. However, you if you bought a Wii on release day, you may know that the only channels that came were fully made were the Disc Channel, obviously, the Me Channel. The Me Channel and the Photo Channel. That thing is so underrated. I, I don't even know why. I, I really enjoyed it for some reason. Hmm. And and also, one thing I'd also love to uh, mention is the thing is the reason the Forecast and News Channel they talk a lot. So the Forecast Channel came out in about December two thousand six, and the and the news channel came out in 2007. Hmm. Interesting. So, what have we learned about the Wii? It's more, it, it's more secret than you think it is. Hmm. Unless if I add one more curveball. Now you might know how some games you need the classic controller, the GameCube controller, or just a nunchuck, or whatever the other ones are called, the Wii Wheel, the Wii Zapper, the Wii Crossbow, or whatever it's called. You might know. You might know you've got to use them for certain games, like Mario Galaxy, you need to use the Nunchuk, or um, GameCube games, you need to use GameCube controllers. And 
be honest, there isn't many games where you have to use a cast loop controller. Unless if it's like Mario Kart, but you can use the Wii wheel. Anyway, you might... You, know, you might know that... That all this. But, you do know that developers could have set a flag in the channel that... That would would say, right, don't boot until one of these is plugged in. I know, the Wii is that smart. It's not that smart, though. However, Wii's like this get chipped. Well, basically, what happened was, is around... According to a Nintendo employee at the time, he said, well, there was a... They had a um a function in the system for need classic need classic control or need freestyle need nunchuck to be and it got removed and the funny thing is we know the exact day it got removed October thirteenth two thousand six about a month away from the Wii's release and. The thing is, the Nintendo, Nintendo were very adamant about all this, and they were like, they didn't think it was an idea. And also, I, I might have t touched on this before. So the SD card slot, right? It's interesting, and I told you how there could have been two of them, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to be talking about some unused text. So, you might know that if you download a game on WiiWare or, or just in general, like a channel, you might know that it, 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 it's hard, hidden behind stuff called blocks. Now, what and what are they? Well, they're just megabytes, kilobytes, and gigabytes. Now, you might know that the Wii's NAND is only 512 megabytes, which is appalling. It's not even a gigabyte. You can basically. I'm trying to find a reference to annotation. If you get Terraria on PS4, that'll be more than half that NAND. If I even play Minecraft on this thing, imagine Minecraft on the Wii. Oh my god, it'd be shocking, wouldn't it? Mind you, the way Call of Duty works, so. Whatever. And obviously, if we were, we were at max, was 40, 40 megabytes. So, there wasn't much that could be more than a gigabyte, other than maybe old games and GameCube games. So, we reckon, I mean, there is Reggie, yeah, I know, the, the one who said my body is ready. He, he did say in 2000, E3 2005, we announced the ability to download the best NES games, SNES games, N64 games, as well as some Revolution Wii games. And GameCube games. Now, this is shocking. So we all we all know what NES, SNES, and N64 come. That's Virtual Console, which was known from that for a while. But it was either we could have downloaded them and sent them to the SD card, or we're going to announce some GameCube and Wii games. I wish I wish he elaborated on it, but. Mind you, he's stepped down now, so there's, yeah, it's not, we can't really ask him about it. Well, we could, but, yeah, whatever. And, I was trying to think of one. Um, well, if, if we have learned something from this video, this thing is a very interesting piece of tech. Now, yes, it's very simple, very underpowered, and basically a PSP. Made by Nintendo. But this console has some magic in it. Not only did it have some quality games on it, like Mario Galaxy games, um, Smash Bros. Smash Bros. is just one of those games on the on, um, Wii Air Brawl. I will defend it. I will defend it because, to, in my eyes, I I don't really want to get into like a bit of a Smash Bros. Tan tangent. But I never liked Melee. 
I always thought, mm, it's too quick. It's t it's too simple. It's not, not simple. It's too like, difficult. And if I go into here, which is where I store all my consoles, wait a sec. So, I have a GameCube controller right here. I'm just going to, I always tang up the wire like this because it saves me space. Um, so, you might realise, this is what, basically, and also, most Smash players aren't, don't have the best hygiene, I'm not, I don't really get into that, as, as Glink has already made a video on that, yeah, you should probably go watch that as well. Yeah, it's known that Smash players smell, like, there's what I'm pretty sure there's one where one of them actually, um, pooed their pants in the middle of a game. Because you never went to the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed. Like, subscribe and comment to the channel for more videos like this. And yeah. Bye.